Good evening everyone. In this video tonight um, I'd like to do a reading with Menciate cards which um, are 97 cards. It's like tarot but not exactly tarot. It has, I'm gonna show you, it has these uh, chord cards, 16 chord cards, just like tarot, four of each suit, so we have the wands, the page, the knight, the queen, and king, also we have the swords, page, knight, queen, and king, we have the pentacles, page, knight, queen, and king, we have the cups, page, knight, queen, and king. Then we have the pips. The normal, like in playing cards and tarot cards from aces to the tens, uh, wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. These are 40 cards. And they're like in tarot of Marseille fashion, it's Italian deck, so it's in that sort of fashion, let's see, these are our pips, then we have the virtues, prudence, charity, hope, and faith, okay, I have it with a pencil written because I can't separate them still, I'm not super I don't use this deck uh, on a daily basis. I don't use this my sometimes deck, you know. Then we have elements, earth, fire, water, and earth. These are beautiful cards for elements. Then we have our zodiacs. Yeah, we have our zodiacs, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio. Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Gemini. And we have our Major Arcana, which doesn't have the High Priestess. That's the only card that they don't have. This is the Fool, Magician. We have the... Um, this doesn't follow the tarot n numbers. This is the Empress. This is the Emperor, which is called the Emperor of the East and West. This is the Hierophant. Okay. They're all the Emperors of different, like, sides. This is the Lovers, which basically means choice in this deck. Temperance, Strength. Justice, Wheel of Fortune, Chariot, Hermit, Hangman, Death, Devil, House of God, or Tower, Star, Moon, Sun, World, and Judgment. So this is their... Uh, these cards, the Zodiacs and ele Elements and Virtues, are also considered to be the major arcana here. So they are somewhere, they come somewhere in between the major arcana. So, okay, only the high priestess is missing, so it's pretty possible to read still. Uh, and instructions for reading, how to read these cards, are basically in this book. Meanings and instructions how to read it here. And I'm going to use a spread <clears throat> in today's reading. Um, okay, it's going to be a general reading. Um, there are going to be four different piles. One pile is going to be for, um, let's see, work. The other one is for feelings, romance, relationships. The third is going to be about money. And fourth is something abstract. It can be maybe spirituality. It can be, I don't know, anything, something philosophical. So, and I'm going to use exactly that spread that is in the book. I'm not going to use it like tarot. So, to read this deck, first we need to make different piles. Uh, 
of from this deck you know divide according to the types the cards so first is the core cards and i even divided it into wands swords pentacles and cups so these are the 16 card cards divided by four now the ones will represent the work the swords something abstract the pentacles will represent uh, money and the cups feelings relationships so now each of the chord card the rang let's say will represent um, the question, for example, if you want to know about learning, it's the you have to pull page as a significator. You have to. We're not reading with them. We're just using them to put in front of the reading so that we remember what kind of question we have. If you want to know about making a choice or courage, let's say how to proceed, I use that the most. It's the night, okay. If you want to know about the relationship, it's the queen. If you want to know about decision, it's a king. So, as the book says, if the querent is seeking a job, the knave of wands could be the card to choose. Yeah, it's about searching plus job. So it's wands and plus knight. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... In this case, I'm going to use knights in all of these readings, okay? I'm going to use knights. So, knights of, knight of wands, knight of swords, knight of pentacles, knight of cups, because we need kind of courage in all of these areas. Okay. Then... We need to have our virtues separately, we have to have our elements separately, we have to have our zodiac signs separately, majors and minors separately. Okay, and I'm just going to take for stones, you know, for just in case you want to choose by a stone or something like that. So. If you want uh, to know about work, choose the Nine of Wands. Okay, if you want to know about work, choose the Nine of Wands. If you want to know about something abstract, spirituality, I don't know, health, I don't know, anything, just abstract general advice, you can use Nine of Swords. If you want to know about your money, financial situation, choose the nine of pentacles. If you want to know about your love and relationships, choose the knight of cups. So we're doing a pick a card reading here. You just need to choose if you want to know about work, abstract topic, money, or relationship. And take your time, okay? I'll select the cards later. Okay, have you chosen which kind of topic you want to know about? Okay, if you've chosen, then <clears throat> let's start from those who want to do a reading about work, career. Okay, I'm going to remove the rest of the cards <clears throat> okay once I've chosen my significator the nine of wands which is about work we want to know about courage and choice making at work we need to take our virtue a set of cards so to say pile virtue pile and choose one virtue the virtues indicate a quality that could be useful for you in this area so this is your virtue 
The second pile we take and we shuffle. This is the element pile, pile sorry. <laughs> and the elements will indicate the attitude that you must assume in order to succeed. And I'm so sorry, we're using reversals here. We have to use reversals in elements, virtues, zodiacs, and majors. We only don't use the reversals in the court cards and fifth. I'm so sorry about that. I'm doing by the book, okay? This is by the book. So, the element, the attitude that you must assume. Now, the element pile, only four cards. So this is the element you must assume, and this is the quality that can be useful for you. The next is our zodiac arcana, so called, and we again use the reversals. This, uh, these cards will show in which way the outside environment, persons, occasions, situations, you know, affect you. So it can be outside pressures, you know, things like that. And now we take our major arcana and we use reversals again. And we choose three cards for past, present and future. So past will show us the causes and motives that have led to the current situation. Present is the current situation and the future is the most likely development of the current situation. And lastly, we are taking our pips. Oh, I did them upside down, but we don't use reversals for the tips. It doesn't matter in this case. And we pull the three cards from the pip pile. And here, well, uh, this will give us the idea of the positivity or negativity of the situation and how it is evolving. So in this deck, it's very clearly written that <clears throat> cups mean positive situations, coins mean happy situations, wands mean problematic situations, and swords, painful situations. So if majority of the cards are swords, then definitely the situation is most likely negative. If majority of the cards are cups and pentacles, then all is well, basically. If they are different suits, then it's a mess. It's very conflicting, it's very upside down. So now let's have a look at what cards we've pulled. So first of all, we have this, um, the card of virtues and this card this virtue as you can see is upside down is gonna be um, telling what quality can be useful for you so we have prudence reversed so while the upright prudence means acting cautiously the upside down uh, could mean acting rashly so at work this might say that at work you're actually very careful you're too careful you're so careful that it might become very like stagnant and narrow-minded situation you know and this card might actually say to um, to lessen that caution a bit to relax a bit to become less cautious so that you know sometimes if we're too cautious, we don't let things happen at all because we're so afraid to risk, to, to risk things and, you know, to do things. So it could say that actually let some of that prudence go. Now, our element is earth, no, air. And this element is telling us what kind of... Um, you know, attitude you must assume for success. So, so with ear we have rationality, we have kind of logic, you know, and intellect more here rather than anything else. And the meaning in the book says 
that the meaning is living while seeking to avoid problems, a spiritual quest. So now you can see um, it's very interesting, be less prudent, but um, also be super rational, avoid problems. But it could also help us, it could also tell us about some sort of spiritual quest, as if you have to focus on a bigger picture and, you know, what's your real purpose, what's your real goal, and then it will change the way you see things. What is the ultimate motive for you to be in that job or that career? And if it's as a spiritual quest you're doing it, then it might relax you a bit, you know, when it comes to things. Um, so that sort of situation. But also it's to be a little bit relaxed when it comes to overthinking. So it's not overthinking, but at the same time, more rationality as well. So, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look now at our third card, which is the zodiac sign. And this is telling you about your environment. And the environment is Leo. Leo is a fire sign and it seems like everything is very active and there is some sort of maybe pressure to look good, to perform, you know, maybe others also are performing, so you must perform as well. There is some sort of like very um, uh, strong um, like pressure, you know, it's not like having to be, uh, so to say, looking good, as I said charismatic and generous as the book says pr proving oneself to be charismatic and generous so maybe someone around you is like that maybe others are pushing you to be like that maybe it's the environment that's e where you have to kind of perform you know and there's this pressure you know like always succeed never show your weak sides always look good always act perfect you know like a star like a confident person you know things like that so sometimes it can show our challenges because our environment affects us. Um, so yeah, now let's have a look at past, present, future. Okay, how did you start that work? Magician card came out, which says that you started because you had the uh, skills that you had. You had everything, you, you had confidence, you know. And there was success in the beginning, so maybe you thought, okay, I can do this, so that's how you got into this. It could be the right education, it could be you felt that you can help people or something, and you started doing your thing. Now, the current situation is the Fool, which is a good card, because it means, you know, letting your instincts guide you when necessary, as the book says. Mm, and also we can see that you're more playing more, you're relaxed more, you're more, you, you let go a little bit, you're playing more, you know, in this, maybe you are um, doing it more like with humor and uh, that sort of situation. So let's see your seriousness has diminished, let's see you're not so serious anymore. What will happen in the future? We have the house of God. Well, this card kind of talks about some sort of mm, crisis, negative situations. So let's see, let's see, you'll have challenges with these cards. It looks like you might burn out or, you know, you might um, lose your, maybe because of the lack of rest or some sort of pressure, you might lose or be trying to think too much and be perfect too much. You might lose your, uh, how to say, your that shield, it might break, that you have built around yourself. So usually it can talk about letting yourself go, because it's like you're a magician, you're very confident, you think you can do it, then you start relaxing, and then you're kind of letting yourself go. So it can talk about becoming more of who you really are becoming more yourself, more relaxed. Uh, and then, of course, the thing that you tried to do, um, if it was for some of you, 
Well, it can simply dissipate and fade, and of course, after that, you might find something else to do. But there's some sort of disappointment, let's say, is coming because of some realizations. Okay, and now let's have a look at our pip cards, and we have swords, swords, and pentacles. So, in this book, it says if you have cards of two kinds, here and one card of one kind it talks about you know two cards of one suit and one card of another depending on a suit drawn a situation that is evolving from a condition represented by the suit with two cards towards a different one represented by the suit of the third card so it was bad it will become better okay the situation was let's say a little bit like doubts and um, things like that. Usually they don't interpret these cards in this spread. They just look at what suits are here and how many of them are there and in what order they are. They don't individually interpret these cards. But the meanings are painful situations with no way out. Suffering that ind induces prayer. Okay, you might literally pray. When I did a reading for myself, the Four of Swords actually it meant prayer. A literal one not like exaggerating and this card can mean um, clinging into the stability clinging into let's say the job or work because of finances so it might be that you will rebe rebel at some point but then you'll go back to that zero square one so to say and appreciate what you have even though it's less you know, something like that. So I think it's a pretty challenging situation. It, Leo can talk about competition and needing to perform. And there's something going on, like you're relaxing, you're losing your motivation or losing your um, wish to be perfect. You know, maybe you just want to find a true self. Maybe that's about the spiritual quest that you have here. You know, maybe it's more than a job. Maybe you need to really... For you, the priority is to find what's your mission in life, what's your purpose. It's not about money. It's not about truly, I think, for no one it is, you know. So that sort of situation is here. Our reading number one, that's how it goes. Let's move on to our reading number two. Let's read about abstract situations. Okay, so these are pips, majors, and zodiacs, elements, and virtues. So I'm going to use now Knight of Swords as a significator for our question, which is the abstract situations. First, and it can be like, um, how will my life be, or uh, do I have psychic abilities, or how can I find my purpose, you know, like something maybe emotional more, like will my artwork be fine, I don't know, it can be, what is abstract really, like what do I need to know right now, maybe, so first we're pulling an element card, no, it's a virtue, sorry. Virtue will tell us what kind of um, quality will be useful for you. We're going to pull an element card. This is quality. No, the attitude that you must assume, that you must have to in this situation. These are the zodiac signs. And the zodiac signs will show your environment, how it affects you, what kind of environment is there. Major arcana cards, past, present, future, how you got into the situation, what's happening right now, most likely outcome, future outcome past, present, future, and the three pip cards which you don't have to interpret, you just look at the, the kind of suits that are there, 
So what kind of suits and how many of them in, in which order. So let's have a look. First, let's have a look at your virtue. Um, the quality that can be useful for you, fire. Well, definitely fire means passion. It means energy. It means uh, you being more energetic about what you want. Oh, I mixed them up, I think. Anyway, so let's... This is that you must assume, okay? What you must assume. So fire, you must be like fire. You must be uh, kind of passionate more, active, doing things, you know? And it kind of talks about uh, kind of the, the meaning in the book is to become inflamed at the right moment and for the right reasons. So it's like, you know, you have to sometimes becoming passionate and active and assertive, you know, when it's appropriate. And I think fire also burns obstacles. As you can see in the picture, also we have like a... Um, like some sort of animal in the fire is like sacrifice also for some of you might be um, some sort of sacrifice might be having a significant meaning so element will tell us your uh, what kind of attitude you know what kind of quality you should have so yeah quality that can be useful is a faith. Well, faith is, as you can see, it can be simply believing that you can succeed. It can talk about hope and, you know, having hope, yeah. Uh, although that's a hope card. So here we have acting according to precise and correct realization. So I think this card could talk about knowing what to do, you know, just knowing, you know, it can talk about a certain skill that you have, for example, like intuitive skill, that you just know what to do and to do it, you know what is right and wrong, and you're just following it. For some of you can be religion, faith, you know, that sort of thing. So both cards talk about passion. How does your surroundings affect you? Sagittarius, well, Sagittarius often likes sports and travel, and it's again a fire sign. Again, it seems like your environment really helps you. It's like pushes you forward. So if you kind of go with the flow, that will be enough. Sagittarius symbolizes extraordinary mind succeeding in rising above the commonplace. So something unusual, something that's helping you a lot. Maybe other people are also growing around you. Maybe you have the right tools to grow. So overall, that seems pretty good. Let's have a look at the major arcana cards, the past. We have the Emperor reversed. And the Emperor reversed, we have some sort of like weakness going on in the past. It's like incapacity to make decisions, lacking in power. So maybe you felt weak in the past to start this project or when it comes to this whole situation you felt like you're helpless or you don't know how to go about things or you just felt that you don't know knowledge you don't have knowledge so it shows that you were weak in the past and something was um like you felt you didn't have confidence and power in the past when it comes to this situation present we have the house of god we have a like a risky situation let's say um, um, the situation that, let's say, is pretty dangerous or challenging. But because it's upright, it has a better meaning. Uh, meaning, a, um, you know, being capable of dealing with moments of crisis. So it says that the situations might be difficult, but you're still able to deal with them. So you're kind of holding on, hanging on there, you know not easy but you're not failing and it's a great card of health in the future of healing is temperance and basically we have not like a victory victory but slowly slowly you're gonna gain that balance <clears throat> somehow and it shows progress 
basically this card means talent for mediating for reaching compromises or for adapting to situations so i feel that you with your inner strength with your spiritual strength you'll somehow be able to um to, to kind of either adapt or calm the situation down and uh basically manage the situation so so great it's a victory okay now let's have a look at our card card uh, pip cards and we have it shows struggle you can see once um challenging situations problematic negative painful situations and painful situations we do have a problematic situation that caused a lot of pain so to say we don't interpret each of these separately but i can read out for you the meanings that are given here so nine of wands is trying too hard to resolve various problems very similar to the right of weight meanings kind of fighting and uh, nine of swords is worrying excessively about situations that can be resolved worrying fighting and Five of Swords, giving up on resolving painful, painful situations. Well, I think it's pretty good giving up on resolving painful situations. It's kind of like like temperance, kind of like let it go, you know, peace, some sort of trust, you know, that sort of situation. Okay, so, yeah. So we have a difficult spread, and I just want, uh, it asks talks kind of advises for you to have faith and everything but i want to ask advice from a major corner what can you do about this we have the empress empress reversed uh, i feel that uh, empress empress reverse can be Letting go of some sort of um, need to control everything and to solve all the problems. It can be actually refusing of being responsible for the outcome of this situation. So it's like uh, being kind of weak on purpose, you know, deciding that this strategy will work for you the best. And actually, this is the strategy. Sometimes letting go and telling that you don't know anything and it's not your responsibility and it doesn't all belong, depend on you. This is also kind of like a strategy in, in life. So sometimes we need to um, have faith and passion and kind of not give up from inside, but also learn how to trust and let go, you know, somehow. Um, that sort of situation and I feel that here going with the flow and the flow is Sagittarius which is very strong <clears throat> even if you don't do anything I think it will take you where you have to be that sort of situation um, okay this was our reading number two please let me know if it's made any sense this is Minciate this is different, so it would be nice to hear feedback. Now let's move on to our um, money question. What do you need to know about your money situation? And that's going to be represented by the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, that's my pentacles question about money first we're gonna use our virtue card we need to pull one virtue card virtue card will tell us what um, kind of quality could be useful for us for you now let's have a look at the I'm so sorry I got it all messed up. It's very easy to 
mess them up. Okay, virtue. What kind of quality could be useful? Elements. What attitude you must assume in this situation? <clears throat> Zodiac sign card. Your environment. How it affects you. It can be persons, occasions, situations. Now, Major Arcana. With the Major Arcana, we're looking at the past, uh, past, present, and future. And Pips. With them, we're going to look at simply how it looks, the situation. Positive, negative, happy. So, what kind of quality would be useful for you when it comes to your money situation? Faith. Again, have faith. Simple as that. Also, um, with this card, there is a meaning of seeing clearly things for what they are and making the right decisions and kind of knowing what to do. So, it's very being very logical and very clear-minded, very rational, you know. What kind of, um, basically it represents the people who know exactly what to do in which situation. Um, yeah, so that sort of thing would be great for you, like clarity of mind, some sort of rationality. Now, what kind of attitude you must assume? Again, we have fire. Fire is, of course, um, you know, of course, it's passion, it's courage, but also it's um, flaring up in the right moments, in the right situations, and kind of grabbing that opportunity. It's not always burning, but only when it's needed. So it can be good for investments if you, for example, doing investing, you know, trading, shares, things like that. Sometimes you don't know what, what is the best time to buy or sell. So with the fire, we have this um, kind of... This could help you that knowledge of how to know when when to flare up, when to not flare up. So it's, it says don't be always cautious and saving and fearful. Sometimes you need to take risks, I think. Okay, so... What about our... So it's about balance. Let's see, balance. What about the zodiac sign? Your environment is Aquarius. Well, Aquarius seems to be like a people-loving, friendly environment. It could be people that you meet. It can be overall the energy of the environment that you work at. Very liberal, very friendly, supportive and you might hear a lot about people talking about charities, uh, helping everyone, you know, and um, basically uh, everyone being friendly with you. And um, it might be that you're inspired by this environment and you are a part of that environment. So there is no pressure, I think. The only pressure could be earn more in order to donate or in order to you know be more altruistic and help people so maybe that sort of thing so I don't feel any pressure when it comes to to from the environment unless it's for serving others and helping others okay now let's have a look at also you know Aquarius can symbolize other things if you're into astrology you might know like technology, modernity, maybe you need to update your gadgets, so maybe you need money for that, maybe to be updated more, so you know, you can apply your meanings that are not in the book. Now, ma major arcana, we have past, which is the star, so it can re represent basically your dreams, what you want to achieve, your thoughts, and uh, of course astrology for some people. Um, 
It's overall the card of optimism, loving the world, nature, and art. It can be that your love for such things makes you want to earn more money. It can be that you read in your astrology chart that you'll be rich, and you, therefore you believe that you have to make money. So there is something like that, um, you know, in the past when it comes to money. Also, maybe dreams. You want to be this, you want to be that, you want to buy this, you want to buy that. So all these are wishes and uh, dreams can be an inspiration of why we want to earn. Current situation is the emperor, which is a very good card when we talk about money. It talks about uh, intelligence, you know, wisdom combined with goodness and understanding. So you're all right. Oh, when it comes to money, you have the right attitude, you have the right thinking, and uh, basically that's how you should be. This is the sta stability, this is the rationality, this is the, um, the grip, you know, groundedness and knowing how to, to, be, uh, to be around money and what to do with money. So you have the right uh, foundation, let's say, everything. And financial stability can also be... That financially, right now you're stable. In the future, well, again, this card, I hate this card, but in the future we have the card of loss. Um, I don't know what kind of loss, is it bad, or maybe it's compared to what you expect, you know, maybe it will not be what you expect. It doesn't mean that you become bankrupt or something. It can only say that you will not be there exactly that might uh, be something else so let me ask major kana what kind of losses will be there what kind of what are they related to okay we have the death reversed some sort of change um, in a situation that will um, be negative and if it's investments, it could mean a loss, let's say. That sort of situation, it's the loss in something financially. It can be not the amount you expected, not the result you expected. Um, advice, full reversed. Of course, it could be... Um, um, don't... Uh, do any rash decisions and um, you know things like that but it can be that even if though you're very logical and practical still the mistake can happen that doesn't depend on you so it could be something unexpected will happen and simply it's just gonna get out of hand for example without your fault without anything like that because it seems like you're doing the right thing and but maybe sometimes you might get too into risks, you know, sometimes you might, you might in the moment, you know, you might want to um, do something. So maybe you'll do a mistake, let's see. Anyway, let's have a look at our uh, minor arcana. So ones represent problematic situations, cups, emotional, and swords negative uh, painful situations so if we have the different suits in the last here line it means the situation is not either negative or positive it's kind of a mix of everything um it means confused situations with both positive and negative aspects so it can be a little bit of for example, let's say you're trying your best here. You're trying your best to solve that uh, financial situation. And with the Two of Cups, maybe you also maybe gift some money to someone because it's exchange of gifts, love with other people. So it could be that maybe something emotional comes in a little bit and then you suffer because of that emotional decision, you know. And then you kind of don't know how to get out of this mess. So maybe you helped someone and you lo lost something financially. 
you know, it's common to help someone or give money to someone and then the person never gives the money back and you kind of, then you feel that this affected you negatively financially. So that sort of situation here. Okay. Okay, this is, again, Minciati. This is our money situation. Let's move on to our third Oh, fourth, last um, pile, which is the Knight of Cups and our relationships, love. It's really sad that it came out like that, but it's just one choice, okay? If you think it's just one choice for so many people, so maybe it's not for you, and maybe it's not your reading, because it cannot fit anyone. I've noticed it cannot simply... Okay, so Knight of Cups and romantic love relationship situation can be probably any relationship, not necessarily uh, romantic. So first we're using our virtue pile and we'll pull one card and this card will tell us about quality that can be useful, your quality that can be useful in the situation. We're taking our element pile, shuffle it, we need reversals here, and this will tell us what kind of attitude you must assume. Then we're gonna take our zodiac cards, we shuffle them, this will show you your outside environment, persons, occasions, situations that affect you from outside, how that affects you from outside. And now we're taking our major arcana and we're gonna do a past, present, and future spread. Past, present, future. And lastly, we're using our pip file. The pip cards will show us just if the situation is going to be positive or negative or mixed. <clears throat> and in this deck, they don't really interpret the minors, uh, but you can if you want to. So let's have a look at, in this relationship, in this love situation, what kind of quality of yours would be useful for you and we have hope reversed. So it could be that don't be hopeful here. Maybe it's not, um, he or she is not going to come back. Maybe um, simply um, this situation. Yeah, the, the literal meaning in, by the book is giving up hope that the situation may be able to change. Maybe you're clinging into this relationship and maybe it can be non, not necessarily romantic. Maybe you're hoping that this person will change or the person will forgive or come back or write back. Although you kind of deep down know that it's all over, like a bad feeling is there. So this card could mean that sort of thing. Now, what attitude could help you? Well, we have the water, which feels like freedom for me. And, um, uh, but the meaning in, in the book says, finding a remedy or taking action without manifesting aggressive behaviors, being a peacemaker. So, yeah, it's a pretty good advice in any relationship that we should release of anger, you know, like hatred or like jealousy, wanting to get back at the person. It's basically, I love this advice. Um, yeah, basically taking action without manifesting aggressive behaviors. So being peaceful about the situation, not confronting the person. If you're thinking about confronting them, confronting them if you're thinking about fighting, them back, bringing them back. Most likely this card, this card talks about the peaceful sailing and not non-confrontational type of 
situation. Now, what is your environment like? We have Aries reversed. Aries reversed could perhaps talk about some sort of um, impulsive behavior. And the meaning in the book says insisting on battling with windmills. So battling for nothing, basically. Uh, imagining some sort of enemies and battles and just uh, uselessly trying to win something back and wasting your energy in this relationship so yeah um, can be other people uh, looking to fight with you maybe or the whole situation is useless basically as you can see fighting a windmill is a useless kind of effort um, which is unnecessary and which is a waste of energy so either people with whom you are in this situation are like that or like uselessly trying to fight with you or just uh, provoke some sort of reactions from you that you don't want maybe you're fighting for those people um, without them knowing or wanting you to fight for them so there's that sort of feeling now let's have a look at our major arcana past. Past is justice reversed. Well, justice reversed, it could talk about actually uh, being in a situation that is a bit, let's say, different. Let's say your and that person's ideas are different about things. So maybe you have the wrong idea for example you think someone is in love with you but they are not so this is a wrong conviction so this whole situation is based on wrong convictions for example you think someone's mad at you but they are not you know so it can be that sort of situation that the whole relationship the whole foundation the whole thing the way it started it could be it started with not with the truth and that can involve, for example, love triangle situations. There is a, an element of like guilt, maybe, for some of you, if some of you have that belief that this is sin, for those people who believe in sin, or they don't want to believe, but they believe, it could manifest as just as reversed. The current situation is the hangman reversed. So it's pretty good. It seems that perhaps um, perhaps it's moving, the situation moving in forward. The meaning in the book says that reverse hangman means betraying without remorse, incapacity to deal with sacrifices. So so let's say, yeah, it can be the elements of betrayal, cruelty, you know, maybe you feel betrayed and uh, wronged and you feel very, like, hurtful and you cannot uh, forgive that person at the moment. And um, uh, maybe you have sacrificed things for this relationship, uh, time, energy, you know, hopes and um, you just cannot forgive, forget that time that you invested and things like that, that didn't work out, for example. So that sort of situation, according to this Minchate book, okay, there are meanings, and I'm using these meanings for this reading. Um, okay, so they bring something fresh and new into the reading. Okay, future well hermit it's the card uh, i would say being single if it's a normal tarot deck but in this deck it means um, focuses more on wisdom and um, knowing how to profit from a positive situation so let's say um, this is gonna become your experience in life you're gonna become more wise and experienced and um, you will know how to benefit from this. So some sort of, something will come out of this, something maybe spiritual knowledge, knowledge on about people, psychological knowledge, because something can come out of this situation. Like uh, everything in life teaches us something, so it seems that the situation will also 
be beneficial in the end although not you'll come out of it like this injured a uh, person beaten but uh, it could be that wiser and stronger inside as well and more experienced so looking at the pips let's have a look so we again have struggle nine of wands basically we don't interpret pips here we just have wands wands which is problematic situations and pentacles it it's gonna become a happy situation uh in the end so a positive situation so from these struggles you will come out into some sort of like stability and healing and in a normal situation basically grounded situation some sort of like normality so nine of wands i'm just trying to read the meaning i do read the meanings but you don't have to read the meanings it's not required in this particular spread uh so it's trying too hard to resolve various problems Two of Wands, knowing how to solve one's problems, but not having the resources required to do so. So, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles is being possessive, staying close to people or positive situations. It can be that you will still want that person back, after all, but in any case... Um, this could be a positive card um, that could talk about normality and regularity in life maybe being becoming a little bit more careful sorry becoming more um, kind of not willing to let's say risk or not willing to do something crazy again for example if the situation was crazy maybe uh, laying low you know in a relationship so yeah and this doesn't have to be about a romantic situation it can be just like with parents sometimes we still hope that parents will change or, or father will change or mother will become different sister you know like a difficult relationships but here just talking about you cannot do anything you have to stop challenging them and let it go everything will just let yourself heal and yeah that's the end of this situation so this was our Manchata reading uh, I've tried it on myself today I was like in a mood to to do Manchata for myself and I did about my tarot reading channel the YouTube channel and everything and I think it was very very accurate actually less cards um, meanings by the book but the reading came out pretty accurate and really positive for some reason. It really helped me to think about the situation and there was an advice of fire that I got. And I think, yeah, please let me know what you thought about this reading. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again soon. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.